The Jordan 4 Bread Reimagined was easily one of the most anticipated sneaker releases of 2024, and today we're gonna to be throwing them on with 10 different outfits for every season. So no matter when you're seeing this video, it should give you some good outfit ideas. So if you're on the fence about picking these up, or maybe you have a crispy pair in hand, this one's for you. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new around here, my name is Nate and I do men's fashion and sneaker content. So if you are into that, hit the subscribe button. We are on the grind to 10K. These new reimagined breads definitely had a lot of people on the fence, obviously because of the leather finish as opposed to the new buck that we saw on the 2019 pair. And I was definitely one of those people. I just wasn't sure how to feel about this leather finish. But after getting these in hand, the quality is phenomenal. Leather is super soft, as you guys can see. There are a ton of reviews already on YouTube here, so I'm not gonna bore you guys with the specs, but honestly, I was pleasantly surprised after I got my pair. So if you guys are on the fence and just not sure if you should pick these up, I can definitely give my co-sign on these, but enough talking, let's get into the video. Okay, this first outfit is really all reliable for me. I can't tell you guys how many times I've rocked some variation of this exact same combo, being a black top and camo or olive pants. In this case, I've got on my most worn jacket of the last few months, which is this Uniqlo fleece jacket, and you can simply wear it like I've got here with a tee, or you can layer it up with a hoodie when it is colder out. You really can't go wrong with this pickup, and I will definitely be wearing this into the springtime. We're accessorizing here with my daily black shades from Kiara Eyewear. And then down below is a recent favorite pickup of mine, being these loose carpenter jeans from Abercrombie. I actually do have these in a couple different colorways, but this one has a super dope real tree pattern and I love the fit on these. They are super complimentary when wearing a chunky shoe like a Jordan 4. I also love that Abercrombie offers some different lengths with their pants, so you can always find the right fit for your frame. This real tree camo pattern though also makes for some great contrast when pairing them with the reimagined bread fours. For outfit two, I really wanted to try styling these bread fours by adding some color to a primarily black shoe. I like how the tones here all complement each other rather than perfectly matching. As far as the details go, we went for a navy, burgundy, and beige color combo. Starting up top with the navy snapback from more apparel. Moving on, we used the knit sweater as the main color pop for this fit. Nova Men actually sent this over and I was actually super impressed by this because it feels pretty heavyweight and has a solid knit texture to it. Of course, we have my daily go-to bag from Cost that I basically bring everywhere. And for the pants, we have on these beige cargos from Uniqlo. They really nailed the fit on these and I will be wearing these a ton as well getting into the springtime. Beige pants will always pair really well with your bread fours. So if you don't have any yet, I definitely suggest picking these ones up. Real quick guys, I want to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor, Black Taylor. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you would know that Black Taylor has been a part of my wardrobe basically since I started posting here on YouTube. So it's super awesome to be working with them for today's video. But what we're going to be doing is throwing on some new pieces and some old pieces that I've been wearing religiously. And if you guys are shopping on the Black Taylor site, you can actually use my discount code NATE-T310 to save off anything off the site. So here are my favorite items right now from Black Taylor. For this outfit, I went with a timeless combo using black, green, and heather gray. These colors will always work really well together no matter how you pair them. This outfit does feature the X9 cargo pants from Black Taylor. And by the way, I'll link these and everything else from the video down below in the description. But black cargo pants are definitely a wardrobe staple that truly everyone needs in their closet. Finding a pair that complements your shoe rotation though is essential. These cargo pants have a straight fit and stack nicely on top of your sneakers. My favorite feature though is the button closures at the bottom. So you can adjust how they drape over your shoe but up top of this outfit, we kept it really simple with a green puffer jacket since it is pretty chilly out here still in Canada, at least for now. And then we layered it over a gray crew neck as the base. Utilize that same gray, green, and black color combo on this next fit, but in a totally different way just to switch things up. Just to show you guys how versatile this combo really is. And this one might actually be one of my favorites from the video, but let me know what you guys think down below. These pants are also from Black Taylor, but this time in the N38 model, it's actually one of my baggiest pairs of pants. But when you're rocking these Jordan 4s, I think the silhouette actually goes perfectly. The material on these cargos is also super light and breathable, so they'll be perfect for the spring and summer as we transition into that warmer weather. This pair also has that customizing feature that makes the bottoms tighter or looser for your preference. Up top, we went with a darker crew neck this time around. 
It has more of a washed effect that matches nicely with the gray on the fours. Then we added some black accessories to tie back in the black from the sneakers. If you guys have seen any of my past videos, you'll know how much I love the S1 shorts from Black Taylor. These were easily my most worn pair of shorts for 2023 and likely will be this year too. I actually have them in multiple colorways as well, but this gray pair looks like it was just made for the bread fours. The tones of gray just match perfectly together and I love the added details on these shorts like the key belt loop and the best part is the nylon makes these super comfortable and breathable, perfect for those warm weather fits. Up top to keep this outfit pretty simple, I just added this black script hoodie and some shades to complete the outfit. Hoodies and shorts are definitely one of my favorite casual outfit combos so I can't wait to pull these out once the weather warms up a bit around here. Sticking with the shorts theme let's move on to some more warm weather fits and a simple go-to outfit for me in the warmer months is always a vintage tee and some carpenter shorts. I think the vibes of each piece definitely match together well and vintage tees will always have a way of adding more character and personality to each outfit since they are going to be a unique one of one piece. The same outfit would definitely work just as well if you throw a hoodie over top. If you've also got some colder weather over the next while like I do. This hoodie is from Destructive and I find myself opting for zip hoodies a lot more these days. But what do you guys prefer? The vintage tee has a nice colorful graphic that brings back in the red tones from the shoe and definitely contrasts well against these beige carpenter shorts that I picked up last year from Zara. I don't believe these are still available but I'll make sure to link some alternatives down below. Carpenter shorts and jorts will definitely be my go-to picks this spring and summer so I'll be picking up a few more pairs over the next couple months for sure. Flannels and shorts are also a great outfit combo that I'll be wearing a bunch this year and this fit has got to be another one of my favorites from the video. I feel like the proportions turned out well and speaking of proportions this year we'll see another big trend of longer shorts again kind of like we saw starting to happen in 2023. This trend will definitely continue this year and the pair I'm rocking is from Dickies called the Stonewash Carpenter Shorts. I picked these up last summer and they have the perfect longer cut in my opinion. I believe they have a 9 inch inseam so for me at 5'8 they actually have the perfect length for an at the knee finish. A good tip for rocking longer shorts is to wear a shirt that's more on the crop side so the fit is cohesive from top to bottom. This flannel is one I've been wearing non-stop since I picked it up. It's from Abercrombie and if you're looking to pick up some cropped pieces, Abercrombie actually has a bunch of great options right now. I layered it over one of my favorite graphic tees which is this training day tee from Culture Kings and I love how this fit came all together. Contrary to the rule that you have to wear black socks with black shoes, I actually prefer the contrast a bit more with these white socks, but let me know which one you guys would go with. Okay, let's wrap up the summer looks with one more warm weather fit here. I don't know, can you guys tell I'm excited for short season? This one leads into the proportions that I was talking about earlier, featuring some longer shorts and a cropped shirt once again, rocking a vintage Bulls cutoff tee that I cropped myself, then as a nice contrast, we threw on these Wrangler jorts that I picked up last year. I really do like the blue contrasting against the red and black. I think it makes for a really nice color combo. And this outfit is definitely one I'll be gravitating towards this summer. Next outfit features a super underrated color combo that I recommend you try out with your bread fours this spring, which is pairing them with some dark brown and gray, which I think actually works together really well. Up top for this outfit, we have one of my most worn fleece jackets from Alfred Eden. I love the oversized fit for this. We layered over another vintage tee, and this time it's a vintage Harley tee, which has some gray hits to match the rest of the fit. And then down below, another pair of loose carpenter jeans from Abercrombie. I am telling you guys, you have to try these out if you haven't yet. All in all, this is a simple, cozy outfit that I think will work well when paired with these Jordan 4 bread. Last but not least, we have another classic color combo featuring some knitwear, which is definitely a spring essential in my wardrobe. This uses that same gray, green, and black color combo from earlier, but just with some different pieces and tones to further the point that you really can't miss with this pairing. The beanie up top is from Modern Tones, and I've been rocking this a ton as of lately. I definitely love a beanie as an added accessory to any outfit. This Zara knit has been in my rotation for years now, and it just goes to show that timeless items like these really won't ever go out of style. For pants, we have a feature from my top 10 pants video being the Abercrombie Vintage Cargo Pants, which have a nice wash effect to them just to add some more character to this simple outfit. And there you guys have it, 10 different ways that I would style the Jordan 4 bread reimagined. Hopefully you did find this helpful. If you did, please do give this video a like and make sure you're subscribed because we do have a ton of new content on the way. Appreciate the support lately. You guys have really been showing mad love, it means the world. But if you guys are looking for some ways on how to style ASICs, one of the biggest sneaker brands of 2024, check out this video right here. 
or if you're looking for some brand new pants to add to your rotation, check this video out. I'll catch you guys there. Peace.